Hello, welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we're going to be reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for February 2020. This will be something different. We're going to be doing a general love reading to see what's going on in you guys' life, love life um, for the month of February since this is a month of love, okay, and romance. Um, we're going to be um, pulling cards from my door and virtue deck, and then I'm going to clarify using the traditional tarot. If you'd like to see what's going on with you, because these would be general messages only, so take what resonates. But if you'd like to see what's going on with you, you know what to do. Book a personal private reading with me on my website, ladyscopiestarot.com. Also, you guys, check out my Instagram page. I want you guys to go over and um, like and follow me on Instagram. I'm sorry, Instagram. I just started a new page on there, and that page is Tarot by Scorpius as well. I'm sorry, Tarot, Lady Scorpius Tarot. Tarot by Scorpius is on my actual Instinct Go page, okay? So sorry about the confusion. I can't keep up. <laughs> but anyway, let's get straight into it. If these messages resonate, leave a comment below or like, um, like, subscribe to my channel and share my page as well. And yeah, shout out to the people that has been supporting me and booking you guys' readings. Once again, shout out to, I think her name is Charlene for uh, donating to my channel. Appreciate you. Let's get into it. So let's see what's going on with Capricorn for the month of February. Universal Spirit, Angels, Seven Gods, and Masters. Give me messages from my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2019. What messages do you have for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2020? I said 19, sorry. February 2020. What messages do you have for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2020 in love. Universal Spirit, I ask you to give me messages. I love like clarity. All right. All right. Okay. The overall energy we have is past relationship, okay? So some of you guys, somebody from your past could return to you, okay? Um, maybe somebody that you knew in, your, in a past life could be returning to you. But the universe is saying definitely keep an open mind because this is a soulmate, might be. Um, and this person different from the, the type of person that you normally would date and be with, okay? So let me know if that resonates. But um, the first card we have is new love. The second card we have is this could be the one. And then, sorry about that, we have playfulness. Okay, so I see right off the top that you guys have a new love interest that's coming into your life. Like I said, this can be somebody that's new or somebody from your past that's coming back to give you some type of new love offer. Um, like I said, or it can be somebody that, um, you know, some type of renewal of love, okay, from the past, but coming back together. But it said you have known each other before, so... Clearly, some of you guys are with somebody that you have already known each other before. You guys could have been friends, or maybe you guys tried a relationship in the past that didn't work, and now you're returning back to each other to see what type of new love um, could be offered or how things will progress this time around. Um, we have this could be the one. So it says, like, you guys already met the romantic partner that you seek. So this person that you're cl clearly dealing with now could be the one for you. But I think some of you guys are kind of confused because you got, like I said, it could be somebody from the past that's returning back to you. And maybe it didn't work out the first time. But I do see this could be the one. So it says you already met the romantic partner that you seek. A lot of you guys have already ro met the romantic partner that you seek. And maybe you want to return back to them, okay? Uh, because you realize you, you, this is the partner you want to be with. And maybe you want to renew the love, okay? Um, and then we have playfulness. So it said to recapture um, your romance, you need to allow your inner youthful spirit to of uh, fun to shine through. So some of you guys are definitely being playful with this new person, this new love, or this returning love. And I see that you guys will be going out on dates, just really, really being romantic with each other, sharing like a good interest in, um, within a connection, okay? Um, so, oh, so far, so good. This is actually a good reading. We're going to pull one card from my Sacred Symbols deck because I almost forgot to give you the um, overall energy. Okay. Give me one card, Universal Spirit, from my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 2020 in love. What is the overall energy of the love life for the month of February 2020? Capricorn. Sorry. Okay, Capricorn. This popped out well. So, I feel like you guys could be... Uh, Moving towards your wealth and your abundance, okay? Uh, maybe you guys might not feel like you're exactly where you want to be um, as far as your finances and wealth. But the universe is saying that you're wealthy on all levels, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and financially, okay? So if you don't see it now, you're going to be moving forward towards your destiny and your wealth. And also, this relationship that you could be getting into could actually bring um, wealth into your life, okay? Rather, if it's wealth and happiness, wealth and knowledge, wealth and money, um, wealth and whatever, like business. And I just feel like sometimes when you meet your, connect, your correct soulmate and soul partner, you guys push each other and expand each other. So 
you can um, move towards your destiny. And maybe sometimes when two people come together, you share assets together or you both have like a mind where so both of you guys are very creative and you can come together as partners and create some type of wealth between each other. Okay, but if not, it's just like spiritual wealth, um, emotional wealth, um, not necessarily money, but it could be money as well. It's like if you don't feel like you're um, wealthy on a financial level, just know that the universe is saying that you're wealthy on all levels, okay? Financially, emotionally, spiritually, physically, okay? So let's get straight into what see what's going on for my lefty, my lefty Capricorn. We're going to clarify the new love card. All right, let's see. All right, universe is going to clarify the new love card for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for February 20. Why is okay? I think these cards are upside down. Okay, sorry guys. Let me get these cards together because I don't want to give you guys any cards that's upside down. I want them to be fair and already upright. Okay, should have did this before, but all right, just make sure these cards are together. Alright, sorry about that, you guys. One second. Clarify for the new love card. Why is the new love card here for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2020? Clarify the new love card for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 2020. Why is the new love card here for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2020? Clarify the new love card for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2020. All right, let's see. All right, so we have the Ace of Cups. It came kind of like up. It flipped out, but I knew it was supposed to be upright. We had the Ace of Cups. We have the World and the Tower card. So with this new love card, um, clarifying this, we have the Ace of Cups. Some of you guys could be connected to a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, also, we have any fixed sign, which is, I think, Leo, um, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus. So I see some of you guys dealing with a, a fixed sign. We have the Tower card being here. So this is Scorpio energy as well. Scorpionic energy. I just feel like the new love. You guys have a new love offer that you could be making to somebody. Or somebody could be coming and making a new love offer to you. Also, sometimes Ace of Cups always represents like uh, self-love and self-abundance. Sometimes children as well. But I do see like some type of new offer being given to you after a cycle was closed out. Maybe some of you guys, like I said, this could be somebody from the past. Maybe you knew you from the past and the cycle had ended. Uh, the, the chapter was closed. Something had to come into completion in order for you guys to come back and get this new love offer. Or maybe Capricorn, you had to close out a cycle with somebody from your past in order to get some to, some type of new love offer. Okay, with the Tower card, it's like something suddenly happened. Maybe some something that was shaken up. Like somebody shook up the foundation of your love life, or your, the the foundation in your love life was shaken up. Uh, maybe you found out something um, out of the blue or something just happened and it just caused you to close out that chapter in order for you to have a new chapter, okay? But we're going to find out why is the Tower card here for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Browns, and Venus for February 2020? Yeah, I feel like something suddenly happened when you you was forced to make a decision. So you guys could be connected to an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And I feel like you had to make a decision between maybe which direction you was going to move into in life with your love partner, okay? Because something had to be closed out with this world card. Let's see. Give me another clarify for the tower for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for February 2020. Clarify the tower card for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for February 2020. Clarify the tower card. Yeah, we had the page of cups, so maybe like something, somebody could have found out something about you suddenly um, and you knew you had to make a decision in order to come back to somebody. I feel like the page of cups, somebody could have came in for apology. Maybe this is you want to give apologies to somebody or somebody decided to apologize to you because we have the page of cups here, but it's like some type of, the pages always represents messages um, or a younger child. So maybe this could be um, something suddenly happened involving a child um, or Pisces that you guys could be dealing with. 
could be a Scorpio or Cancer as well, but I feel like some type of decision that had to be made in order for you to move forward with your new love, okay? And it could it could involve a child, okay? It could involve also you coming back to apologize to somebody after making a decision that that fucked up the foundation, or it could be them coming to you to get to make a decision and apologize to you after you found out something suddenly about them, or whatever it is. It's whatever cycle that had to be closed out is going to be able to help you renew and bring you some type of new love offer, okay? So. Let's see. You can see why the world card is here. Why is the world card here for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Looks like you've already 2020. Playing for the world card for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Looks like you've already 2020. Playing for the world card. All right. We had the Ten of Cups, so maybe some, a cycle had an end. Uh, maybe somebody you was dealing with in the past, maybe you could have been in a relationship with this person, or maybe could have had children with this person, um, or lived together at one point. I feel like maybe that cycle had to end because this person had many options, or they was just choosing you and using you as an option. Um, like I said, you could could have been dealing with a fixed sign or a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, doesn't have to be. But I do see that maybe some type of, um, you had to close out a cycle because um, I think you wanted a family with this person, or maybe you was trying to build towards a family, but you realized this person still had a lot of emotional confusion fusion going on within this connection um let's see why is the seven of cups here Play by the seven of cups for my capricorn some of rising in venus maybe somebody closed on something with you capricorn because they feel like you know maybe you had a lot of options but with the knight of swords it could have been harsh communication back and forth like arguing or just being defensive um maybe this person just was like every time you guys had a conversation it was always them belittling you because maybe they had a lot of options or confusion or different you know they was giving their emotions to seven different people seven different things and they just didn't see the potential to have a family with you okay or to be a family in a unit so you close out that cycle to move towards your new love and that's what i'm seeing okay so let's clarify this could be the one why is this could be the one here for my capricorn some of rising in venus clarify this could be the one for my capricorn some of rising in venus for february 2020 clarify this could be the one for my capricorn some of rising 